general NURBS operations are covered by the NURBS Surfaces tutorial. Here we will cover three additional tools named Blend, Merge, and Extend. The NURBS Blend tool lets you create a new NURBS surface that is smoothly blended between two existing NURBS surfaces. The NURBS Merge tool lets you merge two NURBS surfaces into one continuous surface. And the last tool that we'll look at is a NURBS Extend tool, which lets you extend or retract the edge of any NURBS surface while maintaining its curvature. We begin with two surfaces created by extruding spline curves. We use the Spline Drawing tool, and we have the 3D Extrude icon selected in the Tool Options palette, and simply extrude a surface object. Then with the NURBS Convert tool, click on them to convert them into NURBS surfaces. Let's start with the NURBS Blend tool. With this tool active, click on the two edges and a separate surface is generated. In the Tool Options palette, you can change the continuity of the blended surface to the existing surface. Select G0 and there is no tangency. The blended surface is positioned straight to the other edge. G1 makes the blended surface meet tangent to the existing surface at the seam. G2 makes the blended surface meet tangent to the existing surface, just like G1, but also adjusts the curvature of the blended surface to match the curvature of the original surface, resulting in smoother continuity. G3 does the same thing as G2, but also takes into consideration the rate of curvature, which means it has to calculate the blend deeper into the existing surface. This results in even smoother continuity. It should be noted that G2 and G3 continuity is commonly used in automotive and product design. G4 does the same thing as G3, but also takes into consideration the rate of change of the rate of curvature, which means it has to calculate the blend even deeper into the existing surface. This results in a very smooth continuity by matching this increasing or decreasing rate of curvature of the existing surface. You can adjust the tangent magnitude for the entire edge of each surface by using the sliders. Or you can adjust the tangent magnitude for a particular area on a surface by sliding the arrow to any point on the edge, then adjusting the direction arrow at that point. Select the Synchronize Arrows option in the Tool Options palette to lock the tangent magnitude for both sides of the surface at that point. Observe that when you move the tangent magnitude arrow, that the tangent magnitude arrow for the opposite side also changes with it. If your blended surface appears twisted, then choose the Flip Edge Orientation option. Here's a little helpful hint when blending surfaces. Sometimes it is useful to use the NURBS Reconstruct tool on a surface to redistribute the controls prior to a blend. Since the continuity of a blend is based on these controls, the distribution of these controls will influence the resulting blended surface. The one parameter that we didn't look at yet is the Adjust Seam option, which is only available when blending is applied between the open edges of NURB surfaces that are closed in one direction. For example, we'll loft a couple of NURB surfaces using closed 2D shapes. On the bottom we have a couple of 2D star shapes, and we'll select the loft tool, click on both of those, and we have a NURB surface on the bottom. On the top we have a couple of 2D circles, we'll use a loft tool on that to create a second NURB surface, and observe that a seam is present. The location of the seam is dependent on the start point location of the 2D shapes. Please see the NURB surfaces tutorial for more information regarding seams when you're originally creating the NURBS objects. With the Blend tool active, click on two edges and observe that the blended surface is twisted because the seams of the two edges are not aligned. To adjust the location of the seam for a blended surface, simply select the Adjust Seam option in the Tool Options palette. Then drag the handles to reposition the ends of the seam locations. And the seam is positioned wherever we want it. Now let's look at the NURBS Merge tool. We'll begin with two extruded splines that were converted to NURBS just like we did at the very beginning of this tutorial. Then we'll use the Blend tool to get a separate blended surface between these two surfaces. 
Then with the Merge tool active, click on the two surfaces and they merge into one continuous NURBS surface. A control point is visible at the end of each surface. Move the control point to retract or extend either the original surface or the blended surface to change the shape of the connecting section. Observe that the controls can only be moved along the curvature of the existing surface, which is shown with visible guidelines. The two surfaces don't have to align in order to use the Merge tool. For example, we can undo back to before the blend. With the Merge tool active, click on the two surfaces and they merge into one continuous NURB surface. Observe that when merging across a gap, there are no continuity options as described with the Blend tool. The controls can only be moved along the curvature of the existing surface, which is shown with the visible guidelines. If the merge appears twisted, then choose the Flip Edge Orientation option in the Tool Options palette. Now let's examine the NURBS Extend tool. We begin by creating a 2D rectangle, and we'll convert it into a NURBS surface by using the NURBS Convert tool and clicking on the 2D shape. Then we'll use the NURBS Reconstruct tool to add more controls. In the Tool Options palette, we'll change the degree of smoothing to be Length 3, and also in the Depth, we'll change that to 3 also. Now if we pick the object with the Pick tool, and then in the Tool Options palette, we can click on the Show Controls button. And now we'll move these controls around to make a more interesting shape. Don't forget that you can press and release the Command Can Mac or the Control Can Windows to toggle the perpendicular direction when moving the controls. Select the NURBS Extend tool and click on an edge of the NURBS surface. Control points will appear on the selected edge. Simply click and drag the control to retract or extend the edge along the curvature of the surface. Notice that the controls are maintained along visible guidelines which maintain the curvature of the existing surface. In order to extend another edge, just simply click on a different edge and now you have controls on this edge that you can extend or retract on that part of the NURB surface. Let's conclude this tutorial with a quick example. We'll create just the handle of the sink faucet by blending and merging three NURB surfaces. The base of the faucet handle is a primitive cylinder. In the Tool Options palette, we can set the closure to be none, so it's open on the top and the bottom. And then using the NURBS Convert tool, we can convert it into a NURBS object. For the handle, we first switch to the ZX plane. Then using the 2D Rectangle tool, we draw a 2D shape on that ZX plane. And then we select the Move tool with the Copy option and make a copy of it in the perpendicular direction to that plane. Then select the NURBS Loft tool and click on the two rectangles to loft a smooth NURBS surface. For the ball of the handle, we'll create a primitive sphere. Then we'll open the sphere 90 degrees. And then in the Tool Options palette, we can set the closure to be none to make it a surface object. Now let's use the NURBS Convert tool and click on it to convert it into a NURBS object. Then using the Move tool, and be sure we set the Copy modifier to be Self, and we'll just move it back into the scene where we need it. You can move, rotate, or scale the shapes and orientate them in 3D space as desired. Once you have them positioned where you want them, then we're ready to start blending the shapes together. Select the Blend tool and click on the base and the handle. If the blend is twisted, then choose the Adjust Seam option to move the seam where you need it. Now select the NURBS Merge tool and click on the base and the blended surface to merge them into one surface. Then click on the handle surface and then on the blended surface to merge those two surfaces. For the transition from the handle to the ball, we'll try it directly just using the Merge tool without any blended surface. Click on the two objects and adjust the merge position to the desired shape. And our faucet handle is now complete. We have no doubt that these NURBS Blend, Merge, and Extend tools will be valuable tools for all your NURBS modeling operations.